Hello, welcome back to Wendy's Way. Today we are continuing our journey in food. I thought since uh, Hubby's got a cold going on and he asked me to make him a good hot meal tonight um, and I didn't have any meat thawed that I would show you how simple it is to make a good wholesome hot meal fast when you have canned meat. I've done videos in the past on canning meat. I can chicken, beef, and pork regularly. And tonight I'm going to be using some of the chicken that I canned not too long ago. I'm going to make a quick hot meal. The longest part is going to take for the water to boil for the minute rice. I'm simply going to make a meal out of minute rice, which, you know, as soon as the water boils, you throw it in there, you stir it up, turn the heat off, throw the lid on, and let her fluff. I'm going to put in a quart of canned chicken. I will drain the natural juices off the chicken. I'll put it in a small container and put it in the fridge. Um, Hmm, I should have put it in with the water to cook the rice next time. Anyway, I'm going to drain the chicken and so that it is in smaller pieces. It's in reasonably bite-sized pieces now, but for chicken and rice I want it in smaller pieces than it is now. And I have found that the easiest way to do that is to remove the lid, drain it off if you want to, and then take a carving fork and push it down in and turn it. Push it down in and turn it. And it shreds the meat in the jar before you dump it out. So if you like pulled pork, if you like chicken salad, um, you know, any meat that you have canned, you can shred before you dump it out of the jar. There's another tip on how to use canned meat. So it's minute rice. It's a quart of canned chicken. It's a can of condensed cream of chicken soup. And it's a can of Rotel. I could probably get by with a smaller can. <laughs> we love our Rotel. I can't wait until this summer when I have tomatoes and bell peppers and hot peppers and all the things that I need to make my own. Mm -hmm. But that's all it takes. Four things. Rice, chicken, soup, and rotel. And truly I could just do it with the rice, the chicken, and the soup. If you wanted to throw it in a casserole dish and heat it up, you know, in the oven that would work. You could put some crunchy topping on it, but I'm simply going to make the rice in a pot. I'm going to drain the chicken and the rotel and just open up the can of chicken soup, dump it all in, stir it together, let it heat through, maybe put some cheese on top when I serve it. But I'll take a couple of pictures later and show you just how easy it is to make fast food from canned meat. I appreciate you joining me today here at Wendy's Way. May the good Lord who blesses me each and every day of my life bless you as well, today and always. Amen. One more quick PS to my video. Before you cook anything, rice, oh, bit my tongue, <laughs> rice or pasta, oatmeal, grits, anything that you cook in water or boil in water, put salt in the water before you cook it. Even if it's something that you're making that's sweet, because when you put the salt in while you're cooking it or before you cook it, it simply works as a flavor enhancer. You don't taste the salt. It just makes everything taste better. When you apply it after you've cooked, that 
that's when you taste the salt. Okay, that's it. That was the PS. I'm gonna go finish my meal because my water's boiling.